John, you've been working with lots of boards in your uh, career. How do you get the best out of a board? Okay, well, I think the first thing that companies should distinguish uh, between is the board of directors of the company, and then many technology companies will have an advisory board. So the board of directors of a company is, 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 it will have certain duties under the, the, the company's acts. And again, that's, that's what, there's one set of characteristics you may look at there. The advisory boards or advisory committees or group of advisors, different taglines are put onto it. They're typically individuals with industry experience who will come together to provide general advice, assistance and mentoring to the, uh, to, to, to the company. In, in some cases, you will find that uh, companies will merge the two. So you'll have on, on the actual company's board of directors, uh, you'd have advisors with those capabilities. But you'll find in many cases for the tech sector, um, you'll have a smaller number on the board of directors who'd be responsible for such things as making sure the annual accounts were approved, that the proper books and records of the company are kept, etc. And that the board, the, the advisory board, um, would be uh, there to provide strategic direction or to provide um, what some of them call door opening mm. introduction. So uh, there, there are two different uh, categorizations and, and uh, with many of the advisory boards there will be industry figures um, or people who've, who've, who've had experience of, of, of having an exit before. And the, the two main categories are the, the, of, of individuals you see there are people who can either A, assist with future fundraising or financing or an exit for the company, and also individuals who can help with the sales cycle, provide introductions, open doors, and allow the company to network. And they're kind of the categories you'll see on the, the, the advisory board. They'll typically be very much part-time. They might meet once a month or so, uh, and their compensation may be in the form of a, a yearly fee or the form of options in the company. So they will not be typically full-time employees. They will not be executives in the company. They'll be there to provide a resource or a mentoring resource to the company. Um, again, they would be typically separated out sometimes from the board of directors. Again, similarly with the board of directors, the board of directors could have executives on the, uh, on the board. Typically, the chief executive officer would be on the board of directors who will most likely be a full-time employee of the company. And you'll also perhaps have non-executive directors, again, people who would, whose function is purely to, to act as the director of the company. Some companies will also have, an, uh, have a non-executive chair, chairman, and that person, in many cases in the tech sector, will be someone with industry experience who again can provide some of the assistance that I mentioned there in respect of uh, advisory boards. So sort of any sort of do's and don'ts? Well, I think it's, it's always a good thing to have any of your non-executive directors and any of your advisory board members, you should set out in a short contract exactly what their role is and what their compensation is, uh, rather than to, to leave it, say, join our board and we will look after you, or they, sometimes you'll, people will say, we'll give you X percent of the company, that's a definite no, because X percent of a company today may not be the same number of shares tomorrow. So if you are promising people uh, equity in the company or, or options, it should always be over a defined number of shares rather than a, a specific percentage. But I think you should all, always have a, a, a contract which says, this is the term of your appointment, this is, these are your duties, this is the time commitment we expect from you, and here's your compensation. And that applies also if you are someone who's going on one of these boards, either at the advisory board or the board of directors, uh, so that you, you have a you have a start, a middle and a finish to your assignment, you know.